All right, y'all, so today I wanted to talk about instant gratification because a lot of you youngins especially are comparing yourself to others. And if you, listen, listen, listen. Comparison is a thief of joy. A lot of you guys are comparing your day one to someone's year 10, someone's year 15, someone's year 20. And then when you see their results and you, you do one day in the gym and you don't see the same results they have 15 years later, you get discouraged and then you say they're on steroids or some dumb shit like that. You lack the patience and you're chasing instant gratification. Instant gratification, that mentality is literally holding you back from all your goals. You need to stop expecting something tomorrow. I know we got DoorDash. You can play any video game you want. You can watch anything you want at the click of a button, at the click of your hand. Everything's on your phone. But the fitness journey doesn't work like that. Real life doesn't work like that, right? Even when it comes to, you know, building an audience on social media, that shit takes time as well. Everything takes time. The problem is you're seeing people at, you know, their end goal. You're not seeing the process that took them to that goal, right? So instead of you being motivated by their end goal and following their journey, you just see them at their end goal and then you're discouraged yourself. And a lot of you guys think you could do one bicep curl and just build biceps. That shit takes time. You got to do reps, reps, reps. You got to go through hard ass times. You got to go through struggle. Literally, the reason you have to go through struggle, I know a lot of you guys try to avoid it, but in reality, failure is going to build you into the person that you need to become to reach your goals. And a lot of you guys try to avoid that shit. A lot of you guys try to avoid failure. You try to avoid anything that makes you uncomfortable and all your growth is going to happen outside the comfort zone. All right. I have so many people ask me like, hey, man, how, how long did it take to do this or do that? Or how do you get cut? How do you build muscle? If I say anything longer than a couple of weeks, they get discouraged immediately and they're like, oh, OK, well, that's too long they don't realize that the time is gonna pass regardless, right? So putting in the work, doing everything you can to control what you can, means that in six months you'll be closer to your goals, but instead, people hear, you know, it takes years to get to your results, right? And they're like, yeah, I'm not gonna try then. And then the years pass, and because their habits are still bad, they're further away from their goal than they were years past, right? So you guys need to realize that the time's gonna pass regardless, so you need to make sure that you're doing everything you can when it comes to nutrition, working out, right to get to your goals because like i said a lot of you guys struggle with that mindset like you want things tomorrow like you want to do 10 push-ups and you want a bigger chest you want to do some curls and you want bigger biceps you want to see your abs tomorrow not knowing you didn't put enough time in the gym like for me personally if someone says they want to uh, build a big chest right and they can't do at least 50 push-ups they can't do you know at least 15 dips they can't incline bench at least 185 for reps they can't bench 225 for reps i'm not saying strength is all that matters but i know just from those numbers not being able to do those things i know that you haven't been hitting it consistently enough right because when you're consistent in the gym for example a lot of people think like bench and you know getting a heavy bench which i would consider 225 to 315 because in real life a lot of people don't bench that but if you're like repping 225 or repping 315 it's not necessarily strength it's really just consistency because over time, listen, when you're in the gym, you're eating enough protein, you're doing what you need to do in the kitchen, the weight's gonna get too light after a certain period of time, right? If you've been benching, if you start off at 135 for six reps, right, and you're doing four sets of six, or four sets of eight, right, and you're eating more protein, you know, you're lean bulking, you're eating everything you need to, you're consistent with your nutrition, a year later, you can't do 135 for six to eight reps, it's just too light. So you're, you're like every single month, you'll be up in the weight. So a year later, you might be doing 225 for reps, so when people come up to me or people ask me on social media, either or, they ask me like, hey, man, how do I get a bigger chest? How do I get bigger arms? How do I get this? How do I get that? And I'm like, how many push-ups do you can do? They're like, oh, I never did push-ups. Uh, how consistent were you the past year? Um, I'm just starting now. Um, okay, so how much can you bench? Um, I haven't benched in a while. Should I bench for my chest? Like just the basics, like not realizing what it takes to get there, but not even putting the work in because, like I said, you're trying to jump from different solution to different solution without putting in the work into the only solution that actually works, right? You gotta put the time into the only solution that works. The solution that's gonna work for gaining muscle, guys, this is for all of you guys asking, how do you gain muscle? The solution that's gonna work is consistency, progressive overload, and actually showing the fuck up, guys. Not one day, not fucking one, one week, not one month. You gotta be consistent year after year after year. Everybody that you see on social media that got a good body, that's natural. They've been in the gym for five plus years at least, right? It's just gonna take that time to learn your body, to learn the movements, right? To progressively overload, to build the muscle. Because people do not realize the power of the compound effect. All right, like obviously after a year, the max amount of muscle you could, you could build, if you're a beginner, is gonna be like 20, 25 pounds, maybe if you're lucky if you have great genetics, right? But after that, you'll be gaining, you know, anywhere between five to 10 pounds for the next few years, 
right? That sounds like nothing, but when you add up five years of muscle gain, you can potentially gain you know, 40 to 45 pounds of muscle, which is gonna make your physique look way different. Not 40 to 45 pounds overall, 40 to 45 pounds of muscle. You can gain that if you do everything perfectly, you know, for five years, that's the potential. Worst case scenario, you build like 30, you're still gonna look way different and people are gonna be coming up to you after that time. Cause here's the thing, the only reason I'm talking about this is cause I used to have the same mentality. I used to see someone and if they were bigger than me, which everybody was, cause I was skinny, I'd be like, oh, they're probably on steroids. Oh, they're probably this, they're probably that. When in reality, they were just taking it day by day, week by week, executing, being consistent, showing up no matter how they felt and not chasing instant gratification, realizing that delaying gratification is the key to success, realizing that everything they do now will benefit them in six months, will benefit them in a year. They'll see the results in two years, right? Whereas me back then, before I got to my results, before I was successful in my journey, I was like, yo, okay, I'm gonna do these push-ups, and I'm gonna look in the mirror, let's see if I have a chest. Nothing happened, right? And I got discouraged not understanding the actual process. The process of everything takes time. We all know it would be dumb as hell if we planted an apple seed, right? You plant an apple seed and then you wait one month and then you go out and you're looking for the tree. You're like, where's the tree? Where's the tree? Where's the tree? Wait, did I plant the apple seed? Wait, where's the apples, right? That'd be dumb as hell to think that because you know apple trees take what, seven to 10 years to actually bloom, right? You got to build the roots. That's exactly how the fitness journey is, right? It's pretty cool that now I could get steroid ac uh, accusations because like I used to be the one accusing people of steroids, right? And then I was like, fuck it, man. Let me just focus on this journey, be consistent. I was consistent over time, over time, over time. And then now when I work out, people are like, dude, how you on steroids? Dude, what are you taking? Dude, how are you doing this? It's just consistency and trust in the process and knowing that it's gonna work. And here's the thing, you don't wanna self-sabotage. Like I said, you wanna trust the process and realize that the work you're putting in now, you will reap the benefits if you're consistent, right? And if you give it your all and you execute in nutrition, you execute in the gym. Like I said, a lot of us have that self-doubt if we don't see results in one day, and that stems from instant gratification. Like I said, imagine your girlfriend got pregnant and then she, she showed you like a pregnancy test, right? And you know, she was like, yeah, I just did it last week and I'm pregnant. And then you're like, oh my gosh, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a kid that's crazy, right? And then the next day you're like, hey, where's the kid? Are you, were you fucking lying to me? Like we all know it takes nine to 10 months, you know, gestation for you to have a kid, for the baby to be born, right? But if you were expecting that baby to be born in one week, you'd be like, where the fuck is the baby, right? You're like, where's the baby? Why isn't the baby here? That's not how it works. That's not how fitness works either, right? How dumb would you look if you, if you asked a lady that was literally just got pregnant, if you asked her, where's the baby? You don't, that means you don't believe in the process, right? And you don't have the patience as well. And that's where instant gratification stems from and that's what everybody struggles with. Everyone has that hopeless mindset and they're like, yeah, man, I just, I can't reach my fitness goals. Listen, if you're super skinny or you're overweight, it's because of your bad fucking habits. It's that simple. If you wanna gain muscle, you wanna lose some fat, change your habits and be consistent with it. It's not some kind of genetic thing. You, you don't have the worst genetics in the world. Everyone thinks they have the worst genetics in the world until they start applying themselves and they're like, oh, my genetics are actually average. If you have average genetics and you put above average work in, you're gonna be, you're gonna be way different from everybody. You're gonna look amazing. People are gonna notice, all right? So message of this, man, is just stop chasing that instant gratification, be consistent and show the hell up, man.